this is a perfectly chosen day. See what happens if I walk up to it. So from this point, you see me walking forward, and I am now using my body to essentially bring in more energy, right? So what you're seeing here is I'm sitting there pulling, doing twists and turns, which are causing spiral-like motions into the atmosphere. Once that does that, you can see clearly it starts to pick up the atmosphere and how the uh, energy is distributed all around me. Another thing that I like to do is cross my hands over my chest 
Um, in many cases, if I do that, I'm uh, slowing down movements, and then when I open up my hands from my chest, uh, I'm speeding up those movements. So now I'm going in, doing a little first person work. Fun stuff. Um, that is just as easy, distance work is just as easy as being right there. Um, and remember this is a low charge day, so as you can see, uh, I'm going back and forth. I just got done adjusting the camera and then um, beginning the process of moving the environment again. So the environment would go dead immediately. Um, if one was not tending to it and you're not actually feeding it, then there's no energy for it to move if you're not uh, paying attention to it or being aware of your surroundings, it will die almost immediately. So as you saw, I just had to rebuild it. Okay, so now I'm talking about it, showing you how when I walk around it, it causes movements. Okay, just my presence being next to it will cause movements that uh, most people don't even register. A lot of people don't register that when they're walking down the street or something like that. And because of their low awareness, oftentimes they're not triggering any energy in their environment. So, but for those who are aware, for those who do have um, access to basically natural juice that's within them, they've got a strong battery, then just walking next to things will cause uh, the atoms to collide. The, and once the atoms collide between one object to the next and they greet each other, um, that's known as buffering, so it'll cause the system to kind of uh, you know, shoot up. So here's another shot at me doing first person work, and I'm going back again. So now the environment, you can tell, is getting gradually uh, stronger and stronger. It's being built up more and more gaining a lot of energy uh, with constant interaction with it and then I've juiced the thing up with numbers and I've also put in my personal frequency with humming. So harmonics um, and then constantly adjusting the mathematics is building up this environment. Very powerful. So I'm taking the hat. Uh, normal speed, so shut up.
So now, the rest of this is just my demonstrating proof and showing that one can build up an environment from absolute zero without any problem. So essentially at this point, I'm moving back and forth between both objects. And I'm accelerating, making things move quicker, bringing them back down, um, just showing my overall uh, ability to connect in. Um, it's very important that people really learn, if they're trying to build up their own environment, it's important that they really learn uh, humming, if they really try to hit uh, hip frequencies as much as humanly possible. Another thing is, is that they're really actually trying to harmonize with the environment. They're not trying to control it, but actually harmonize with the environment. Um, Love, unconditional love, is the key. It's the thing that has been missing for uh, much of the inception of mankind as we know it. Um, we've demonstrated a lot of greed, a lot of uh, anger, fear. So the most important thing is that you're actually doing this because you're trying to develop a relationship with the universe. Okay? So, harmonics, love, peace, actually connecting in and trying to be friends with everything that exists, okay? No such thing as an enemy. Um, and try to remember even those who you have had in your mind as, as enemies before, people like the elites or uh, the negative ones. Just remember that even they serve a purpose and they're serving their, their job. Um, remember to love everybody and everything. The one thing that we should always be, instead of returning what they do with negativity and hate, we return it with love. So just keep that in mind. We're trying to be harmonious. We're trying to be beautiful people, loving people. For all those out there who are trying to find answers, we at AMI are going to be here. We're trying to provide those for you. What you saw here is a true act of building one's own environment. We start off in a dead, dead cold environment. Not much going on at all. We've got the entire progression on tape. You see what's happening now. This is it. I'm about to pack up now. watch that. Hopefully I didn't have to point that out to you. And as you go back and look carefully, it died right while I was going towards it to bring it down.